Hello, my name's Keith from StarTech.com. You may have heard of video extenders and wondered what they are and whether they'll work for you. Today, we'd like to discuss some of the options and what to look for when you consider purchasing one. You can use video extenders to extend a video connection over a much longer distance than a traditional cable and can even extend over your network. Video extenders usually consist of a video transmitter and a video receiver or multiple receivers. Here's what we'll be discussing today. Before you buy a video extender, first consider what type of video connection you will be using. StarTech.com offers video extenders for many connection types, such as VGA and HDMI. When selecting a video extender, you may find that your video source and your video destination do not match. In this case, you will need to convert your video connection. There are a couple things to note when you convert video. Whenever possible, do not convert your video connection. The more devices between your source and destination, the higher the chances that there will be a point of failure. Convert at the source. Generally, you will experience better performance when you convert your video connection as close to the source as possible. If possible, use a powered converter to convert your video connection. If your video source has HDCP protected content, you cannot convert to an analog signal like VGA. Some video extenders are also capable of sending audio with the video signal. If you use a VGA extender, you need to connect a separate audio connection at the video transmitter and video receiver ends. Video extenders can operate point-to-point -point or over a network. Point-to-point -point means that the transmitter and receiver are connected directly using network cables. This can be achieved by converting your video signal to Ethernet or fiber and running a cable directly between the video transmitter and the video receiver. More advanced video extenders can use your network infrastructure by connecting your video transmitter and video receivers to a router or switch. You cannot run a cable through a router or a switch for point-to-point -point video extenders. Wireless video extenders can either pair directly to each other over a wireless signal or may connect to your network wirelessly. Some network video extenders require you to use software. If a video extender requires the use of software, make sure to check which operating systems the device supports. This will be listed on the individual product page on the Technical Specifications tab. Some video extenders adhere to the HD Base T standard. HD Base T allows for the transmission of USB, audio, Ethernet, video up to 4K, controls such as RS and IR, and power over HD Base T up to 100 watts. HD Base T transmitters and receivers can be mixed and matched, provided the specifications you are trying to match are supported by all devices. For example, this means that an HD Base-T set-top box would work with an HD Base-T receiver. It's important to know how far you're looking to extend your video signal if you use a point-to-point -point video extender. Keep in mind that the distance you want to extend your video signal determines the length of cable you need, not the physical distance between the two devices. With wireless extenders, the maximum distance can be impacted by any solid object between the transmitter and receiver, such as a wall or floor. If you require a specific resolution or refresh rate, make sure your video extender will support this. Compatible resolutions and refresh rates are listed on the individual product pages on the Technical Specifications tab. If you want to create a one-to-many video extender solution, you need to consider whether you want to display the same image across all of your video destinations, mirroring, or if you want to show different images across all of your video destinations, extending. In general, simpler video extenders will only allow you to mirror the image. 
StarTech.com offers products capable of creating a video wall, such as our ST12MHD LAN, on which we will be doing a separate, more in-depth video series. Check the description for a link to this video series. Thanks for watching. My name's Keith from StarTech.com. Hard to find, made easy.